Hello and welcome to part two of this YouTube video series covering the use of elastic clusters with WebLogic Server 12.2.1. This video is intended to follow part one where I demonstrated how a dynamic cluster could be elastically scaled up and scaled down using the WebLogic scripting tool. In this follow-on video, I'm going to use the WebLogic Administration Console to perform the same actions. Let's take a look at the demonstration. Here is the state of the last demonstration as we finished up. Just to summarise, we have a cluster created, which is a dynamic cluster. And within that dynamic cluster, we currently have two managed server instances. Here we can see them both, Elastic Cluster 1 and Elastic Cluster 2. These are both in the running state. If you look at the configuration for the dynamic cluster, we can see that we have currently set the dynamic cluster size to be 2. We have a max dynamic cluster size of 8 and a minimum dynamic cluster size of 1. What I will now do is simply show you how we can use the scaling capabilities built into WebLogic Administration Console to scale the dynamic cluster up in an elastic fashion. So clicking into scaling, we have a field here that asks me for the desired number of running servers. It's currently reported that there are two running servers. So let's scale it up to four, for instance. And we simply do that by specifying the value four and we click the OK button. The WebLogic console reports that a request has been sent to the node manager to scale up the dynamic cluster. If we look in the Start Stop tab, we can see now that an additional two managed server instances have been dynamically created and are in the process of being started. We can see now that the managed servers have been created and are now in a running state. From this page, we can see the listen port addresses of each of the new managed servers that have been added. As I mentioned on the previous video in part one, the use of the WebLogic plugins that supports Apache, Oracle HTTP server and so forth can be automatically updated with this list of dynamic uh, servers that are associated with this dynamic cluster such that it can route requests that it receives from clients across the set of managed servers. If we click into the server button, similarly we can see the details about the managed servers that are part of this dynamic cluster that has been elastically scaled. Clicking back into the cluster, we can scale it back down. Again, we go to control, we select the scaling option, and now we'll say we want to scale it back to our original state of two managed server instances. Clicking the OK button, the console reports that a request has been sent to the node manager to scale down the dynamic cluster. Clicking on start and stop, we can see that this is a far quicker operation and the additional managed server instances, Elastic Cluster 3 and Elastic Cluster 4 are now shut down. So what we've seen in this very short video is the ability to elastically scale a WebLogic server dynamic cluster up and down using the scaling function built into the WebLogic Administration Console. In the next part of this series, I'll look to demonstrate some of the more automated capabilities we have to scale clusters up and down. Uh, for instance, doing it based on a calendar schedule or even based on some runtime metrics that are able to be monitored and the appropriate scale up or scale down operation performed. Until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you with the next video.